We are taking my bus to investigate a place known as Billy Creek, which has a reputation of being haunted. Are we in danger here? Yes. Yes. One, two, three. Oh, oh shit! Way. Also, Kalani is joining us and he thinks it's a good idea to tie me to a chair and leave me in the dark. Is there anyone here with me right now? Dude, if one thing actually happens, I actually mentally don't think I can handle it. Here, what is up guys? We are back here in the bus for another video and today we are doing a Beyond the Dark episode with Kalani. Look at Kalani's cool little cyber truck over there. Uh, we are here in Indiana and we are going to a place called Billy Creek Village. Uh, notoriously known to be haunted by a lot of investigators. We are obviously taking the bus and we are going to sleep in Billy Creek's village as well all overnight. Dave's about to get us there. Dave, what does it say? 42? 42. Wow. Not too bad. Maybe, uh, maybe an hour, yeah. So, wow, long story. So, one thing we learned is when you own something this big, driving it, when the GPS is 42 minutes or an hour, it's always add on another half hour. And I did not know this, but it is very slow. Right, guys so we're still going we're about 25 minutes away from Billy Creek uh, Village and here's my theory about this place because if you guys don't know Billy Creek Village pretty much to, to run it short is the village was a tourist attraction where this guy had an idea to take many different old village uh, you know century year old 1800s maybe there's some stuff from the 1700s but pretty much he took 38 properties 38 houses and put them all to create this village so even on the land, it's just an empty plot of land. Historical wise, nothing crazy happened on the land. And some of these buildings, there's been nothing reported in a lot of them. So why is the place haunted? That's what we don't know. Now, did someone die in one of the buildings and cause an attachment? And someone was attached to the village or maybe one of the items, like one of the houses. So when they transported it all here, did did one of the, did the spirits come with it? Did the entities, did the demons and whatever, did some of that attachments came with it and that's why it's haunted? We don't know. We're gonna talk to Kalani, we're gonna talk to we're gonna investigate and we're gonna figure this out. You know, Billy Creek Village looks amazing. Like, it's like one of those places that's like peaceful during the day, like the Conjuring House. And then at night, it's like a living hell sometimes. I mean, I'm loving the general store though, with the pumpkins hanging out. And my homie who's coming up to me, the cat. This is great. This place is very well managed and taken care of. Again, Billy Creek Village is a tourist attraction during the day. Um, obviously we have a, uh, Kalani the ghost hunter joining us for this video. He got his cyber truck, which is perfectly wrapped. And then we have our amazing bus. Now guys, did you ever see um, the Phasmophobia video game? Because that is exactly what we're doing. This is the real life Phasmophobia. Instead of a van, our bus is going to be the safe house where we're gonna be putting all our equipment inside and then using for this video. Now for the investigation, there are 38 different houses and buildings here, whether it's a shed, to a blacksmith's place, to a governor's house, to a church, to the general store, the schoolhouse, they're all here. Now not all of them are even haunted, and again, a lot of this is all based on rumors. 
rumors. The whole place here is just on rumors of hauntings. But Kalani's been here three times or twice, and he has an idea on how he wants to do this. I haven't been here before. It's like, there's a lot of like ideas where like you can almost think and manifest something. If I'm like, oh my God, this house is haunted. I fear it. I think there's something, I'm seeing something here. Sometimes that energy we give to that house starts to create something. Oh, fun fact. Every house here was transported here, like I said, from the 1800s, sometimes 1700s, that were used for a purpose, were then placed here to be saved. But they all came from Indiana and not anywhere else. Now I'm here, obviously, we're gonna be getting started. Kalani, what is the game plan today? Okay. What is going on? So, I didn't think I was gonna come back here, because I came back here literally like a month ago with a psychic, and my wife had a very terrible time, and my wife refused to come back, hence why. My it's wife just is not here. you. But after that visit we've had, there's been an increased number of reports of a shadow man, shadow figure. We're not exactly sure what it is, but we're going to try and capture this thing tonight on camera. And I've got a few ideas of things that we're going to do tonight, which you may not be too keen on. Oh, no. But we're going to try it out tonight and we're going to see if we can capture the shadow figure on camera. What's the word called when you manifest something and it becomes real? Egregore. Egregore, okay. That's what it is. Also, if you haven't noticed, I have really cool merch, right? That's my school bus that we're in, that we're doing for Phasmophobia. Guys, please, if you want to support, it costs a lot of money to build the school bus, to travel this world, to create these videos for you guys. If you can buy the merch, I ship it right out of my house. It would mean a lot. Also, I have a Patreon. If you guys donate, that would help me out so much as well. All the donations, including the merch, go straight back into everything we're doing to create content for you guys. I love you guys. Thank you. Exploring crew forever. Let's go. These houses are the real deal. Like, when I jump, the entire house shakes. The walls are super thin, just like in a legit 1800s house. Like, it's real. It's re What I'm saying is that this is the real deal. Like, it is super cool to be and just being able to walk through some of these. And it's like back in the day, like the houses always gave you that like old, like scary vibe for some reason. Do you ever get that? I don't know. Like for example, that, that's spooky. That looks spooky to me. It's old, it's creepy. I'm just stalking my friends. What's going on over here? The Civil War house down there to kind of check it out. And Kalani says he wants to tie me up with rope and put something over my head so I can get into that death prevention kind of sensory. And he, they're trying to scare me. We're gonna see what happens during this ghost investigation. So you're obviously gonna to wanna to stick to the end. Sensory deprivation okay. in hopes that we heighten his fear to attract the shadow man. All right. Oh, God dang. Are you ready to take on that challenge? I'm gonna take it on because they do say, they do say that they, some, you know, evil spirits and entities feed off of fear which would make them stronger. We're gonna do that tonight. We're gonna see what's really And we're gonna leave happen. you alone, which there's almost that vulnerability point. Yeah. Whereas if you're vulnerable in here, maybe something will be willing to come forward. It's open. And so this was a civil war house. You meant like they would hold some of the patients during that era you think who was in war? That time. Okay, so we don't actually, yeah, we just wouldn't know. Damn. <laughs> Jesus, these houses would fall apart with one jump, guys. It's a literally a van house. Pretty much. Damn, we already got the chair for it. This will be the chair that you're going to get tied to tonight. You know, I've never actually been tied to a chair in general, so this is the first Only time for house, everything. Right? Not even that. <laughs> Is there a doll there? They covered it. Jesus. <laughs> Why was it covered? Yeah, like hiding from it. That's spooky freaking doll. You wanna go, you want me to, you wanna stay in this room? I don't know, maybe this room would be better to stay in actually. This would be like. Yeah, let's stay in this room. There's something more freaky now with everything and with that doll. The doll was covered. Yeah. Who? No, it wasn't me. No, that was as soon as we didn't record. That was by the fireplace. It was leaned up against the No house. way. Oh, it almost hit me, honestly. Dude, no, for real. We didn't even record it. We were just walking out to go back and the whole thing just fell right over here. Oh my God, it really did almost hit you. That is a fact, you're the last. I dodged it. 
Dang. I wish I caught on camera. Me too. No one was recording. Shadow man. We didn't even catch it on camera. Dang. Oh. It always happens off camera though. No, but for real, that was legit. Dang. I know, for real, me too now. Yeah, there's definitely something about this house though, especially now with that. Come on, that could be something. We met up with Dave and he too had something happen to him on the property. Yeah, I'm gonna, look, I hands down on my daughter's oh, yeah. life. All right. Girl. Yeah. Yep. I was standing over the truck. Yeah. And a cough was clear as day, right? <laughs> that sounds mad, but unless oh. I've seen a guy walking around over there, but there was literally someone coughed like right near the cyber truck. Oh, so I thought it was one cough? of you guys. So I even no. checked in your van. Dude, that's nuts. I swear on my life, like I wouldn't make it up. Not yeah. on my little girl. Yeah, no, I know. Man on the heart. I was yeah. over there and it was literally right behind me. This you, guy coughed. You was it on camera? No, I wasn't there. Well, I'll tell you why I didn't, because I was putting, I put your stuff in sort of neatly and then shut the back up. I was coming over here and I didn't, and your bag was out near the floor. So yep, it was, down. it was. What if when we got scared over there, it gave whatever it was enough energy to manifest over here? Dude. Because when I came here the first time, something we did point out is that whatever it is can move about oh, the really? property. It's not just limited to a building. So we're at that point where we're gonna have to get our ghost equipment out, get the night vision out. So my friends are gonna hate me, but I'm gonna scare them really bad using the death whistle. You know how I like to scare everyone with this in like a lot of my ghost videos? I'm gonna scare them so freaking bad inside this bus. It's gonna freak them out bad. So, I'm right now, we're gonna all set up for the ghost equipment because this is like phasmophobia for real. We're gonna pick what we wanna use. But this is behind the scenes going into the video. Guys. Ghost investigation is finally about to start. The moment you've all been waiting for. But what's really cool is because we have the school bus conversion, we put all the ghost gear inside there. It's pretty much the Ghostbusters bust in real life, but it's like phasmophobia. Are you guys actually ready to finally do this? We are at the village. We are gonna go inside and show you. I mean, look at this at night, dude. This is sick. Anyways, let's get inside and get the gear. I mean, we have so much equipment that if the Shadow Man is lurking, we're going to find him. I didn't even know what the f that was. I, I actually thought that was you screaming. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was you screaming at first. <laughs> Did you get scared? Who got scared? Did you get scared? I was confused. I jumped. I was more than confused. anything. I felt my whole body go like. Did, like I felt, I heard did you? Loud, did you jump? Death. No. <laughs> but you got scared. What, what is it? You never heard the death whistle? The death whistle. Oh, I've got a little death whistle. Uh, whistle. I never used it. Did you jump? I couldn't. I don't know. I, mean, I don't think I really did. I didn't really. See I was more like. Is that Josh screaming? I think that might be your worst reaction you've got. Dude, that is my worst. <laughs> I mean, he got scared. He got... No, I felt my body. Yeah. Got, it wasn't that, that scared. Didn't you do that to Colin? I've done it to so I many people, bro. Nah, no, oh. this might be my worst reaction, though. We grabbed all of our ghost gear and headed to the old house with that creepy painting. And I'm not going to, like, jazz it up, make it worse than what it is. But what I will say is, if you need to step out, step out. If something's bothering you, like... Make sure you speak out loud if you're feeling something. Mm -hmm. Part of investigating is not only using the equipment, but also listening to what your mind is telling you. Because sometimes your body is the best tool that we have. Mm -hmm. I know it sounds corny, yeah. but as investigators, like that's something I've learned is sometimes my instinct is a lot better than the equipment. Yeah. We're heading up into the governor's house. We are going to be leaving on my bus the whole night in that glowing ambience here we go my pants are literally falling down from the ghost equipment that's filled in them you heard it as of right now we are starting off this video inside the governor's house okay so if anything can hear my voice my name's Kalani oh that was me sorry we completely rigged the whole entire house with ghost equipment REM pods are down there triangle to Oh, that's okay. All right, that's good. That works. That scared me. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we have stuff everywhere. The dead bell in the center, music box against that door, and we have rooms with cameras. Uh, we have we have rooms with cameras in other places. We are going to be doing a seance right here, and we're going to be trying to call forth the shadow man. No, no. <gasps> that's three no's. That's freaky. Okay, so I'm calling upon anyone that can hear our voice. 
My name is Kalani, and I'm here with some other people. Now, I've been here before. Now, you can use my energy to come forward and manifest and speak with us. And everyone else is going to introduce themselves. My name is Josh. We're looking for what we think is the shadow man. And if there's any entity or ghost or spirit that is here that can point us in the right direction or give us a sign, that would be really nice. My name is Steve. Uh, I'm only here to uncover the story behind this place. I'm sure there's a lot of unanswered questions and we're here to give you guys the questions to answer. Questions to answer. Oh yes, right? I mean, something good in the breeze that we're welcome here. So I'm David, uh, I've traveled all over from the UK to the USA. I'm a skeptic, I want to believe. I've spoke to one of the owners here and they've witnessed things on this place. You know, these buildings yeah. date back. Just said no. To the 1800s and I want to, I want you to prove me wrong. I want to know who the shadow man is. I want to know if, you know, things exist. Show me. Come on. Okay, so we're calling upon anything that can hear us now to come forward and set off any piece of equipment we have on the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, oh no shoot! Way. That is wild. It wasn't even just the bell. The EMF reader one. I know. So, we had that on so what's we, interesting is both of them were picking up EMF signatures, yeah. which means that both of them oh, okay. detected something at the same time. I see. And what's the odds of one, two, three game? And that's why I do one, two, threes because it's not just random things. Yeah. It's something intelligently responding. Mm -hmm. That was that was awesome. Ooh, that was cool. All, All right. right. Yeah. Thank you for that. Thank you. That was really. Okay. That was really. Red pod went off now. What's that? Fucking bang. What's that? What's that? The red pod went off. I hear a bang. I don't know if it's like right next to the door or behind. I really heard another noise. Wait, the cage just popped again. Are you? Is that you banging and making the red pod go off? Are you in this building with us right now? Can you give us a big sign that you're here? Is this the best building to communicate with you? You can use that blue device to say yes or no again. They love that. Thank you for hitting the bell. We know that you're here, but the blue device will let us know yes or no. Are you attached to this house? As in you can't leave. When it was moved in the 1800s to here, did you come with it? Are you from the land itself? Or are you from the other buildings? Are you a malevolent entity? Yes. Yes to malevolent, malevolent entity. Yeah, malevolent. Yeah. So that's evil or yeah. angry. Negative. Negative. But then a lot of these were here during the Civil War, so... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the question is, is it, it upset now. because they were moved here? Because uh, technically yeah. all of these are foreign. Yeah. yeah. So like, if you look at a haunting, right? Like traditionally, you go to an old building and the haunting is not foreign. Mm -hmm. But here, all of these old buildings are from somewhere else. So right. if they did have their own ghosts with them, you're bringing yes. exactly. different <laughs> ghosts. Right? Exactly. So he's probably not from this land, but attached from the other building. Yeah. Well, I mean, essentially that's what I said, but I don't know if we had the answer, but the bell did go off too. And now you're yeah. just saying it again. And no, it says no. I mean, I said if there was an attachment here, and I was saying no. I mean, so it could be honest. spirits that are from here and some that are not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they could be mixing. Yeah. But it's like, no. Yeah, true. But think about people, right? Think about modern day. Think about how well people mix modern day when they're from other places going to other places. Mm -hmm. Does that carry over to the spirit world? Like, I don't know the answer and I don't have the answer for that, but let's say things don't go well and things aren't cherry. This could be just like a constant battle between one side and the other happening right where we're sitting. So are you, are you buried here? Oh, that bell. We haven't had a bell went off just okay. like that. That's clear. 
Can you confirm with that blue device? What was that? Uh, that was legit a girl. Again. Should we not go to the Civil War house today? Probably it's probably not going to go there. there. That's oh. yellow. It doesn't want us to go to the Civil War house. It's going off horse. It's staying in yellow. It's w- trying to warn us. It doesn't want us to go. And that's where I'm literally going to be tying you up to a chair. That's, Bro, and that gives me the that confirms chill. that maybe the Shadow Man does live there. It doesn't there. want us to go there. The Shadow Man house. Hey, and I was, I was here so thinking, like, what's the darkest building here? That house over exactly. there. It yeah. is that. And it feels that way, too. No, it's, yeah. Like, I mean, all of this over here feels like just like a like there's cool this, village. There's some lights outside. And then over there, it's like creepy house. I mean, yeah, but it does feel like it's crazy in here, too, though. Actually, at least. Are we in danger here? Yes. Yes. I mean, twice. clear as day. Guys, we are gen- we are really talking. Like, this is legit. Damn. Like, I'm yeah. sleeping here tonight. <laughs> we are sleeping here tonight. Right. But literally, like, it's not like... It's territorial, like you said. Well, it's not yeah. like we're waiting a couple minutes for answers. Like, you say it's straight away. Are we in danger here? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. This is legit. At this point, we need to figure out, uh, do we have enough, like, evidence here to move on? I, I or... think... We, we need to move on to see if there's any other location that gives us response. Mm-hmm. Well, there's but a lot I think, of properties here. I think we definitely got the confirmation that the Civil War house is not safe. Really quick, we are about to head over to the church right on the side of the governor's spot, literally right there. But we noticed as we looked up there's a full moon going on. Look at that, bright as hell right through there. Now everyone knows, and you should know, that if there's a full moon going on, it can release a lot more energy and feed around here to create more evidence for us. They're a lot more stronger. And even with some people, they get a little crazier too. How come is that? Yeah, ah! yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Let me know if this is true before you Google, but okay. I had a person tell me it's because we people were made of water. like. A big percentage of us is made of water, mm-hmm. and Grab the full moon, oh, like it does something to the water, like everywhere, moon like it tides. makes it, huh? The moon tides, moon tides, yes, moon tides. So maybe that does something to us that mm. makes everything go more crazy. That's a good idea. Well, I'm gonna Google now and let's find out. So I like Steve's answer. Yeah. I read, I'm reading this website, and it's saying that there's really no connection, but then other people say that there is a connection, but it's mostly the superstitious people. So I guess that explains why. I was hearing this or believing it. We headed inside the church shortly after. To be fair though, it definitely feels like dark and heavy in this place. There is some stuff going off. We just got the room set up. Music box wants to go off in the aisle. REM pod was going off, wasn't on my camera. Even the triangle went off. Like actually everything went off as we were setting up. Dude, that thing, yeah, it was playing, or I have it on. Civil. Civil War? Civil, Civil War, Civil. Guys, you can't even make that up, it said Civil. Oh my God, that's something. I wanna keep that right here. If you'd like to communicate with us, we have some equipment out for you to interact with. We just need you to hit one of these pieces of equipment to let us know that you're here, so that we can speak with you. Where's the shadow figure? The shadow man? or the malevolent spirit. Can you point us in the right direction? We want to speak with him or her or it. Beside. Beside. Beside Beside who? Are you beside one of us right now? I'm upset. I'm upset. Beside and upset. Why are you upset? Because we saw the peers. Why are you upset though? Clearly they're trying, oh my, they're clearly trying to talk to us, dude. Are you the, so you're the woman that we were just talking to in the other room, or no? It's got to be her. If you stand right there, it will let us know that you're here with us. Can you stand there a little longer? Would you like an easier way to try and communicate? Would you like us to try and do use th- a different device? Do that thing where you go under Estes. Because she's trying to talk to us or it. It's saying I'm upset 
it's going off, the music stuff's going off, they're trying to talk. Kalani will now explain how the Estes method works. This is one of my favorite ways to try and talk to spirits. Okay, so for anyone that's not familiar, the Estes method was essentially a way to try and serve as a conduit ourselves. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be listening to this clear box. It's going to be sweeping through radio stations. And the theory behind it is it gives the spirits the ability to manipulate the frequencies coming through and have a voice to speak through. Now, I don't know what questions are being asked, so it helps to eliminate some of that human bias that you might experience if you were to just ask the question out loud. He's a minor. <laughs> For example, if I say don't think about a pink elephant, you're going to think about a pink elephant. But if I don't know that you're asking for a pink elephant, and I say pink elephant, it's a little bit more of a profound experience because I wasn't listening for that, but it came through anyway. So that's what we're going to be doing now. We're going to be listening to see if anything here wants to come through and speak through the essence. So guys, pretty much this We're out of options. Out of options, you can ask any questions, and again. Devil. Devil in a church. So are you the evil entity? That we're speaking to. It just said kill it. He said the devil. Cross the fence. Cross the fence. Oh. It just needs to go. It just needs to go. Are you the person that was warning us? The bill just went off. Did you kill someone in the past? You're getting on my nerves. Are we able to go into the civil war house later? I'm just scary. Kidding. Scary. See, that's her warning us again. Yeah, she's what? She's from light. From, from light? Is the civil house scary? He's scared of it. He's scared of it. But didn't you say the light? The shadow. The shadow is scared of light? What do you want us to do? Do you want us to leave? Do you want us to help you? Leave. Clearly, they want to see the ghost one. Past the barn. Past the barn. Leave past the barn. That's the Civil War house. Oh, yeah, you're right. Listen, you know, you the Civil War house. Go past the barn. Holy sh. This is actually freaking me out, but it's saying. Are you going to hurt us at the Civil War house? Because we are going there. Hello. Hi. What do you want us to do at the Civil War house? Do you want us to do anything there? Oh shit. Music box went over. Don't go to the house. Don't go to the house. Don't go to the house. The music box just went off. We're gonna go to the house. Why can't we go to the house? Don't go. Don't go. Was the shadow figure co conjured? Right next to you. Right next to you. Alright. Guys, for the next session, we are actually all splitting up. These two are going to be going to a church while we go inside the school. So if you want to see what they're doing or how their session goes, you guys are going to have to check out their channels in the link in the description down below. And then obviously me and Kalani are going to be linking up and hitting the schoolhouse here. And then after that, we all meet up again to go inside the Civil War house. And now it's just me and Kalani. Like times. old times. Yeah, <laughs> just exactly. At least. So this place can be creepy. I mean, the school vibe is is definitely there. Well, for a minute, I was like, is that a noose? What the hell? Now it's where the bell was, I think. Yeah. Look at that! Oh my god. That is really creepy. It's an old school, but it's like, geez, what's gonna make this place haunted? I don't know. I can set some stuff up. I got in my pockets. Finally using the obelisk, guys. I haven't used this before. This is my first time. The bell's going off right now as well. Um, I don't know if it's because it's school, so they're touching the, the bell. Dude, what is going on with that bell? I might sit up here at the teacher's desk. Oh, that's cool. The bell went off just for them. Should we both sit up at the teacher's desk and, and like... Oh, Josh. I think you need to wear this. No way. Yeah. It's for the bad kids. Oh. It's for the bad kids, right? Yeah. Dude, I'm a bad kid. So I'll sit back here and, and we'll see how it goes. I'll hold the DR60 and you just ask questions. All right. All right. One, two, three. 
Are you the little girl that's been following us around all night? Should we be afraid to go to the house? Can you come to that device in his hand and tell us your name, please? Is that you? Pam. Okay, let's hear it back. Pam. When you said, can you come to the vice and say something, I said, yes, I can. We didn't get much in that session, so we decided to give it another go. All right. Here we go in three, two, one. Can you come to the vice and give us your name now, please? Are you buried? Can you summon the Shadow Man here? Are we okay to go to the Civil War House from this building now? Let's see. Let's see what kind of juicy stuff we got. Because that was a tap we heard right there. Yeah, I heard a tap. Yeah. I do? I don't know. I can't make it out. You have to get out? That's kind of what it sounded like. It sounded like you have to get out. We might be able to enhance that post, but that's kind of what it sounded yeah. like. Yeah. You have to get out. Guys, does it say that? Let me know in the comments down below. Play with the post, play with the audio. Let us know because that's what it sounds like. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and say it's super clear because it's yeah, not. Yeah, because it's not. It's, it's gurgled and they're, 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 they didn't come through very clear right there. But I will say tonight, it does seem like anytime we do mention going to the Civil War house, it doesn't seem like it wants us to. No, clearly. And it seems like whatever is here is warning us not to go over there and we don't know what's waiting over there. Whereas yeah. you're getting tied up there. Yeah, that's true. Let's do one last session. This time, we're gonna ask whoever it is to sit at a desk and just speak to yeah, us. Yeah, just do a silent session. Yeah, we'll do a silent session. I'm gonna do it right now. We're gonna keep it going. Um, where do you think they should, let's put it right on the side of us. Yeah. So whoever is talking to us, wherever you are, or if you wanna to speak to us, can you please sit in that chair right now? We're gonna ask you questions, and with this thing in my hand, if you can see it, just talk into it loudly and as clearly as you can for us, please. In three, two, one. Is it okay if we go to the Civil War House from this place right now? 
Can you tell us who that shadow figure is? Did you used to go to school here? Is the shadow figure an elemental? Is that you who just walked out? Or one of your friends? Are you trying to protect us? Okay. Okay, if you saw a green laser, that is Steve. I don't want you to think it's an orb or something we added in. He's got a laser pen. He's been dicking with us all night. So if you saw it come to the window, that's who it was. All right. Here we go. What was that? Sound like a real whisper. It's it's such a crazy whisper. I can't make it out. Yes, I think so. I heard yes, I think so. I think so. Watch, try again. Put that to your ear. Yeah, I can hear it. The last one heard sounded like no. I don't know. That, yeah, it's hard. That one whispering voice was really creepy, but I, I couldn't know. make out no, what no, it no, said. No, no, but it was really it clear. Like it was like underneath everything. Everything. But that was pretty. Damn. All right. I mean, it does feel like though everything here is trying to keep us from going there. Yeah. No. No. No one wants us to go to that house that we have to go to right now. And you know what's crazy, Josh? Is you have to go alone. We're gonna try it. Well, you just yeah. All right. We yeah. We guess we gotta. So go. I get to use my Eagle Scout skills to tie Josh to a chair. Damn. I've never used these skills for anything extracurricular. All right. Never tied anybody up for anything. All right. Well, snap. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Let's just go get everyone and figure this out. I guess. We're walking up to the Silver War House. The dogs are going wild. But everything's leading up to this one moment. Literally everything, all that was built up on and the warnings and all that stuff is right here. Right now. The girl telling us not to go inside, hearing the girl's voice, telling, you know, looking for the shadow figure, the emotions and everything that was triggering all this time is now coming up to it. We are approaching the Civil War house. I'm gonna be tied to the chair. I don't know how this is going to go, but it is super late at night as well. A full moon. Everything leads up to right now. Full moon's just like beaming under the house. I don't know about this, bro. Alright, well just to show you guys this too. Just give you some of the history. This is the Civil War farmhouse. I don't even know what I'm doing now. It's actually pretty nerve-wracking. Dude, this is gonna turn to some poltergeist. Some conjuring crap, dude. Swear to God, I don't know if I'm up for it. We got the whole crew into the Civil War house and went to the doll room where Kalani is going to tie me up in. I've never done anything like this before and I'm not sure how to feel. This is weird that we're about, I'm about to get tied up. So this is probably why you're your second time ever being tied up? Never. You sure? Sure about that? Never been tied up. I'm ready though. Okay. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Shit. 
And obviously, yeah, but it seems like you've done this before. And still with nuts. And so pretty much, remember, if I scream or panic because I'm getting attacked by anything or I'm seeing crazy just get me the hell out. That's all I'm saying. It's on camera. Just get me out. 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 Dang, I really am tired though. I really couldn't move if I wanted to. Like, maybe I can. Hands are free, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, true. I'm still good. <laughs> so maybe I can do it myself then. Dang. You are, you are tight though. Like, you really, I really couldn't move. Alright, that's good enough. The more I got tied up, the more uncomfortable I started to feel. Which unfortunately for me is exactly what we want to do. The idea is to induce fear and see if that energy brings upon something malevolent for us to talk to. This is great. Help me! Got a new battery in and... Well... Josh is tied up. This is all for the ghost experiment that the ghosts will feed off of my fear here. We'll see how it goes and what happens. We're going to be in a different part of the house eventually, but we're actually going to start outside of the house. So Josh will be completely alone to start this session. Yeah, I'm nervous for sure, but it's also a really cool experiment. Bye. All right, I'll see you guys. We've got the equipment set up. For any entities in this house, we give you full permission to come forward and do whatever you want to know. If any shadow figure walks or brushes by me and I can see it, it's going to look just like this. The whole room is gridded. I mean, it's, it's a pretty amazing like plan. I'll try going out and speaking now as well. Is there anyone here with me right now? Holy f a huge thump in that corner and that corner of the room that just went off is not gridded with the orange and I got chills and now I'm feeling something cold already but now it's getting super cold like f physically I mean it's really getting cold I'm not kidding all my knees are like feeling like this cold breeze like all around me I'm not even joking is there someone here with me right now? Is that why it's getting cold? Dude, if one thing actually happens, I actually might go Holy <laughs> The REM pod's going off. Guys, the REM pod's going off! And I feel a cold breeze! And I thought someone was sitting on my lap earlier. I can't see you, but I know you're here. I can literally feel you. Like right near my knees. I feel your breeze, like your coldness around me, like your aura, I can feel it. it was this a bad idea? Give me a sign if this was a bad idea. Is the shadow man with us right now? It's weird because now I feel like it's hot around like me. Like here, I feel like hotness. Can you crack on the floor or knock like this if you're here? Give me a knock. You made the REM pod go off once and I literally felt you. It was cold. You were like, almost like you were like touching my leg. I just had a cold touch on my elbow just now. Literally just now, and I could f I almost felt it in the pit of my stomach. I'm not even joking. It's super quiet. It starts getting to your head. But the touch and the cold breeze and that going off was no joke. That's what's scary about it. Definitely an under, like, I'm not in my uh, element, I'll tell you that. Definitely not comfortable with this but I can't freak out because I think I would actually go into a panic attack like no joke especially because I'm tied up mentally I can't do this 
I can't fucking do this. I just said I heard that on the right side of my ear. Every time I felt something, that REM pod went off. I'm not fucking around. Like, this is no joke, guys. This is serious. And whatever. I mean, I've had a lot happen. Even like the Robert the Doll and scratches on my back. I've been through it all. But this is nerve-wracking when... I mean, this is welcome to the episode of Beyond the Dark, guys. For real. It's no joke. Well, listen. Whoever is here with me, please don't hurt me. Actually, though, for real. <laughs> Are you still here with me? Can you make the REM pod go off if you're still here with me? I don't want to do this anymore. I'm done. Yo, you guys hear me yet? Hey guys. Definitely got good evidence. For sure. Um, didn't see the shadow. But I can promise you, on my life, someone was here. Someone was here? I don't know if they still are or not, but I have the proof. All right, so listen. I literally was saying, I'm feeling something super cold. Something's really happening. Mm -hmm. And then literally, the REM pod went off when it happened. And then, to, to prove it too, I heard a whole like click or a tick, like someone was touching me near the right side of my ear and when that happened the REM pod went off again and like it was it was like too good to be true like so perfect i can feel someone like just like 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 behind me like their aura like they want to like rock my chair you know what it is like i was a grandpa oh the doll and and literally the whole thing was if i kept thinking about the person behind me i was gonna freak the out. So I just like kept thinking and staying calm because okay. it's really scary to know like there's something behind you that you can't see. So, so no visuals? No visuals though. But the REM pod so went you didn't off. see anything. But I couldn't see anything. But dude, it was enough to prove like I generally felt like that person was here. And dude, like it was like, it could be anything, but they, were, they wanted to like rock me it felt like. They just wanted to rock me and they couldn't. That's what it felt like. I had, I had the coldest touch on my elbow as well. Like a cold, full touch. So, I mean, it's pretty legit. It's a, it's, it's a crazy experiment, but like, it's definitely not one I could do. Like, dude, because if I get too scared, like actually scared, I'll go into like a crazy like, Aah! so like, yeah, I keep myself calm. It's definitely more scary than I thought like it was going to be. But but to have like real like crazy like ghost stuff go down mm -hmm. was like perfect at the same time. Okay. But like I started to get the most scared when I was thinking they were like I felt their aura dude like breathing almost kind of thing behind you. Like you know when you know when someone's staring at you, mm -hmm. like but you, you don't know and it makes you look? Yeah. That's what that's what it was for the behind me thing. Like it's pretty crazy. Anything else? Anywhere else in the house? Oh yeah, dude, when you guys left, an entire whole knock happened at the corner of that bed. A whole like, like that. Oh shit. At the corner of that bed when you guys were gone. Yeah, Kalani, when you guys left, it was like this. Out on the bed, on the corner of the bed. That's how it started. It might have been me, because we were right outside. Nah, we dude, the, it, I, it, it wasn't you because it was at the corner back of that, like, like they were there. And it was like they were hiding from the grid. That's what I was thinking. They wanted to avoid it? Yeah. 